Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. I'm going to be making some envelope type thingamajigs to go in my Edith Holden journal today. The one I'm going to have finished by the middle of next year, I think. Uh, I have made a little series of videos on just making the bare bones of the journal and now I'm just doing a series of embellishments. They don't have to go in that journal. You can make these to put in anything. I just happen to be using Edith Holden. Right, these are the pages I'm going to decorate my envelopes and tags with. I'm going to be using that, which is page 76 if you're interested, and page 68. Right, let's show you exactly what we're going to do. Well, I've not finished one, so <laughs> I've no prototype to show you today, so we're just going to be doing it as we go along. I've done a little bit of the work just to speed things up. Now, this started off as this. It's just a DL, DL window envelope and it's been folded and bits have been chopped off and little notches have been put in and I'm going to show you how I do that. Right, so this is the basic envelope. You don't need this type of envelope, you can use any you want. I use tea dyed ones when I've got them but I don't happen to have any like this done at the minute. So I've just got this little stash of new ones that I pull out. I love the colour of these as well. So, a little line of glue there, a little bit of glue there, a bit more there, another line down here. That's not squeezing out too good. Let's swap. Oh yes, that's coming out much better, the art glitter. And then just press that down. And that's that one sealed. Now just because it's, again, speed things up, I'm going to swap that out for one I've already glued where it glue's dried and I'll use that on something else. So here's the one I prepared earlier again. Now the next thing to do is we need to take a little sliver off the edge just to open it up so we can put some tags in. So, tiny little sliver. You don't have to have a guillotine for this, you can use a craft knife. If you're any good at cutting, which I'm not, you can even use scissors. Alright, so now we've got, as you can see, that's all opened up. So I'll go back to my original one. Because uh, I've got the tags pre-made and everything, I'm just going to show you how I fold it to make it the same size. Normally, all these end up being a tiny little bit different. I'm just going to try and make this about the same. There we go. So I'm just going to fold it up, increase it. Now I'm a bit, I come from a background of making cards and mini albums and everything has to be perfect and lined up within an inch of its life. And some things sometimes bug me, which probably won't bug other junk journalists. That, that bugs me. If I glue that down, that's going to be all baggy and it's just not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece out. If you see on this one, I've already done it. Now, to make it easier to see where I'm going to cut, I'm going to take my pencil and just draw along that crease. You're not going to see it, so it doesn't really matter. Grab the big scissors. And I'm just going to take a little sliver off. Just to uh, satisfy my need for perfection in some areas. You'd laugh when you saw Well, my desk is a mess now. Some things have to be perfect, other things I'm quite happy with being a mess. This is one of the things that have to be perfect. That we've got no bagginess now, so I'm much, much happier with that. So I'm going to take my punch. Again, you don't even need a punch. Uh, some people just... In fact, I'm going to do it. Take something round. That glue stick will do. I'm going to use a lid off that glue stick, because that looks about the right kind of semicircle I want and I'm just going to draw around it there you go take my scissors and just cut around that this will be good. I'm not brilliant at cutting but with my little Tim Holtz scissors I'm much better than I was they've got like little serrated edge to them so they don't slip and again I'm doing it like a fussy cut holding my scissors still moving the envelope there you go 
you'll see that better if I just give it a little bit of ink so as you can see you don't need the punches yeah they make your life easier yeah they speed things up but they're not something you have to have it's like oh it's not like oh I can't make that if I don't have that punch let's go out and buy it which I know I used to do but there you go we've got that notch and while I'm doing this one I'll draw around and do the other one I'm not going to cut it though there you go so we'd get those notches in we'd ink around all the edges so off that one goes and then we'd be at this point so you've got your notches in you've got your edges inked and before we start gluing anything together I'm going to do a bit of stenciling on this so I've chosen a this if I'm not correct I don't keep my stencils in their packets all the time but I think I have the packet for this one yes I do this is an indigo blue stencil there's no identifying marks or numbers on it so I don't know if it has a name indigo blue are a British company and they do have a website oh they have a YouTube page as well I'm gonna to have to check that out yeah so it's just www.indigoblue.com I'll put a link to those in the description they do some fabulous stencils and they're really good quality they're quite thick so let's get the brush out for stenciling I'm using vintage photo today I don't want it majorly dark we've got to have something in our Edith journal that's not really dark and grungy aren't we I'm wanting to go through the seasons with that journal it's another reason I'm not putting any of my embellishments in yet because I want to like decorate it from January through to December so it can be used like that right this stencil is it big enough no I'm gonna have to do a bit of yeah I'm not gonna make it join top to bottom so I'm gonna open that up now here's a little thing I do again it goes back to my perfectionism you don't have to do this if you get ink on your window you can clean it off but I do something that kills two birds with one stone I've cut a little piece of card I measured the window and I've cut a little bit of card roughly the same size as the window so when I've done my stenciling I'll have a window that's not got ink on and I'll also have another tiny little tag I can use it just makes me happy so I do it right I'm just gonna lay it on like that oh another place I don't want stenciling is in there where my notch is I suppose I could have done this before putting the notch in so I'm just gonna get a bit more of my label paper that I use and I'm just gonna bob that in there because I don't want that bit stenciled I don't know I don't think it makes any difference but I just don't want to do it and if I don't want to do it I'm not doing it right, let's see where that comes up to it comes up to about there so I'm not going to bother about getting too much ink down here apart from on my little tag so let's start how dark's that coming oh it's quite nice that I don't bother about getting the inking even all over my stencil anyway I think it gives a little bit of interest if it's darker in some places and not others you could get all technical and say highlight the flowers and have those darker than everything else how we're doing yeah I think I've got it far enough down on the actual envelope I'm just gonna finish my little tag that's protecting the window let's have a look oh yeah I'm quite happy with that so let's move that little tag there you go we've got a nice clean window and a little tag we can use for something else I might just pop it in front of here for an, as an extra one so you might get just a tiny little bit around the edge if it's not lined up but it's note to write home about I'm now going to do the front part so I'll put my I'll put that in there because I don't want to get any more ink on back I'll put that tiny little notch in there because I don't want any inside and I'm just going to put my stencil on randomly again brush back there we go how's that going yeah 
quite happy with that. Move those, there we go. We've got a stenciled envelope. I'm loving this envelope stenciling. It's my new favourite thing to do. I'm just trying to think of different ways to do it. So, oh yeah, I like that. I might even, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of collage on front there, but I don't need to. You wouldn't need to. Could just put a label on or something. Right, now we're going to do some gluing. Put the lid on my ink, stand all my glue bottles back up, shift my punch, move my brush. Right, I'm going to glue this with art glitter again. Dries quicker. I bet you're sick of hearing that off me and everyone else who uses it. Now, we want to leave... Oh, I didn't even show you tags I'd made, did I? I've just made some basic shaped tags. I'm then going to use little tabs so we can pull them out. So we're going to have one there. We're going to have one there. And one's going to go inside. Like that. Yep. So I need to make sure that I don't glue any openings that don't need gluing. Right. I need to glue that to there. I don't need to glue at bottom. It's not going to be an issue. So just basically I need to glue there and there. Yeah. So I'm going to put two little lines. Move that. We don't need it now. Two little lines of glue on there. Like that glue. Look like, yeah, it does come out. Gotcha. It starts to set if you don't put your pin straight back in. And I'm a nightmare for not print pinning till I've finished a project. So that's that. We'll be left with our three openings exactly where we want them. I'm now going to put that to one side while it dries. In fact, I'm going to stick it under my mat to keep it flat. Now bring our tags back in I've got two bigger ones and a little one the reason I've not rounded my corners on that is because I don't know if I'm just going to round them or make it into a tag shape but in fact I've just decided I'm just going to round them so they all match so I'll come in with my little corner well this is my uh, we are memory keepers corner chomper fabulous corner chomper I'm on my second one and as you can see even this is broke chomp very well that's better brilliant all this lovely sturdy metal and then these are made out of plastic so when you drop them on the floor when they're open like this they break off i really wish they'd sort that out because apart from the fact that i broke two i love it and at 20 quid a pop i'm not buying another one luckily it still works for the smaller corner because there's a little i don't know there's a little, little notch you can't see it it just helps you line it up but it won't do bigger corners anymore there you go so yeah fabulous for my little corners even after breaking big corners yeah meh that's enough on that that's that's my moan for day i've done it over right let's bring in the papers i'm gonna use to decorate these i'm basically just going to bit like what you do when you make a photo map for a mini album I'm just gonna cut a piece of Edith's paper slightly smaller and stick it on now I do have the measurements of these cards here if you wanted to make one exactly the same you've got your measurements here I hold them still open you can see them I've no idea whether you can if you can't I'll put them in the description below so the envelope ends up being and we're working we're not working in English money today we're doing inches Four and a quarter by five and seven eighths inches. The inner tag, five and a quarter by four, five and a quarter by three and a quarter, and two and a half by four. So I'm just going to take a quarter of an inch off those measurements for the size of my uh, mats, as we're going to call them. Let's bring a pen in so I know a different colour. So I'm going to do one five by three and three quarters. Five by three and three quarters. Yep, yeah, one five by three and one two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Now, if you're a measurer, you've got measurements. If you're not, just crack on. Sometimes I measure, sometimes I don't. And I work in inches because, I don't know. I think because I watch so many tutorials where they work in inches, 
I find it easier. I went to school back when there were what did they call it? Decimalisation came in. And I can work in both. Because at school we learnt both. Right. My little tag's going to have that purple flower on me thinks. And that's going to have that on me thinks. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Tanya at Tatty Treasure has showed you how to cut out the uh, acetate pieces. So if you cut the exact tag shape in acetate, you can lay it over. I did it when I did the cover of my journal and the uh, pages. And you can see exactly where your tag's going to be. I've decided I'm just going to wing this one. Let's see what happens. Let's, I'm going to cut these two pages in half first. So just a little sliver gone. That's the one I want. And we know we want to get the yellow flower in one and the purple flower in the other. So I'm going to... <laughs> we'll see whether this works. I'm going to cut it there. Ooh, if that don't work, I've blown it. So that's going to be my little tag. Oh yeah, that's going to be fine. Yeah. So my little tag is going to be, have a mat two and a half by three and three quarters. So I'm going to cut that again round about there. So I'm then going to make that three and three quarter inches long and it's going to be two and a half inches wide so that's going to be my tag two and a half that just doesn't sound right that two and a quarter two and a quarter the, the actual tags two and a half there you go that's my tag i'm going to round the corners and stick it on done I'm not decoupage tags. I don't want anything too bulky going in and out of those pockets as there's going to be three full tags. Right, this is going to be the... Yep, that's that tag, the medium-sized tag. Not the one that goes inside, to be honest. So this one wants to be three and a quarter... Oh, no, that's the actual tag. Five inches by three inches. So I'm going to start... I'll just see where five inches takes us to. I think I need to take some up at top, don't I? Yeah. First, I'll take some off the top. I hope this is helpful to you, me messing about. I'm <laughs> doing this. Yep. And then I'm going to make it five inches. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I need to cut it down so that it's three inches wide. So I'm just deciding which side to take some off. I take it all off that side I think I'm going to take a little bit off that side no I'm not no go back to plan A three inches this is where I come in and I overthink so it needs to be five by three five and a quarter by three why is, why is that wrong what have I done wrong here I've done something wrong here and I don't know what so that's five and a quarter and that's five that's five and a half not five and a quarter so i've took too much off that so guess what i'm going to make this tag smaller that's going to be a quarter inch smaller now and then <laughs> problem will be solved get my fabulous corner chomper back out and the inking i weren't going to do on camera i'm now going to do some there you go what did I say? This is a lesson in what to do wrong and then how to fix it. So I made me, I messed my measurements up. Oh, and look, I've sorted it out. I may as well cut the corners off this while I'm here. Then we'll get a quick ink and we'll stick it down. There you go. So that's that one. Bring the tag back in. Chomp those corners down. There we go, I'm liking that. Then we've just got the big one to do. I don't want to get the big one wrong because if that one, <laughs> I can't cut that one down if I mess it up. Right. Yeah. Right, the big one's going to be the same width. Five and a... Sorry, length. 
five and a quarter in length yeah by four inches wide so i want to do it five by three and three quarters i'm just checking so i don't muck it up yes right let's bring in the paper that i'm going to make that tag from i've decided i want to use this one and i'm going to hope <laughs> hope here's the that's the operative word i'm going to hope that something pretty ends up in my window and i'm thinking if i do the tag from i don't know now i've changed my mind i want to make the tag to incorporate that butterfly and that or do I want to do it lower? No, I'm going to do it lower down. I'm going to chop that top daisy off. Then I can fussy cut that for something else. And that's where my tag's going to be. Yes, that's going to be my tag. It's going to end between that daisy and that daisy. So I'm going to cut this page in half. This is the time when I overthink things. So I decide I'm going to do all this on camera. Because I can't overthink it. I'll be panicking, thinking, oh my god, my video's going to run over. And just to make sure I cut this in the right place, I'm going to get my ruler and mark it. Let's move that a second. I want to make sure it gets between those two daisies, so I don't want to wing this one and guess it. So that's where I want it to be. And I'm just going to mark on that side of the paper. Because that's the, pe the part I can then line up in my trimmer and make sure I'm cutting it exactly where I want to cut it. Phew, that worked. I'm very relieved now. So, what do I want to... I want to incorporate the butterfly. And I'm thinking that butterfly is going to end up in the window. If it doesn't, I'm just going to be gutted. So, I will cut it there first. Yeah. it wants to end up being three and three quarter inches wide so let's see how much i can lose off this side oh that's going to be perfect so that'll be three and three quarter wide and it wants to be four no five high so let's cut it down to five yeah oh that's really nice i think that'll be I think that it should. Let's round the corners, ink it and stick it on. And if a butterfly's in our ink window, it's tough, isn't it? Right, so that's them. Oh, I didn't round that last one properly. I have to be a bit more careful using this since it broke. Yeah, so that's the three tags done. Let's move our script scraps out of the way. And I'm going to glue these tags together. Right, a quick ink. As I said, with the Edith papers, they're so, the colour's so lovely. I don't think they need a lot of inking. You're just really cutting, you're just covering off the white edge that you've made when cutting it. That's one. Where's my ink gone? I'm not a fan of this tidying up as you go along thing. It may, I just lose more stuff me when I work tidy. If it's all over at desk where I can see it, I never lose it. Tidy it up, you're like, mm, where did I put that? Where does that live? And never rearrange your craft room, that's fatal. You'll never find some things again if you do that. Right, I'm going to stick these on with... Yeah. Bitter art glitter. So we'll start with small tag, mainly some round edge and a little squiggle everywhere else. You get a teensy bit of wiggle time with art glitter glue. Oh, yeah, that's right there. And I have to pick it up to do it. And when I say teensy, I mean teensy. There we go. Teensy even a word, I ain't got a clue. It is now. Is that how words become words when people say them? I don't know. If it were true, I think a lot more Yorkshire words would have made it into a dictionary. That's that one. Bring the card over. Remember, just teensy wiggle time. So I just let it drop rather than push it. 
and then I'll do my little wiggle. I always have to pick it up to line it up finely. Happy with that one. And the final one. When I made mini albums and did all this matting and layering, I don't know why people t tend to like to want double-sided tape. I used to go through rolls of the stuff. In fact, I've got loads now. Sometimes, if I've not pushed for time, I'll do this kind of thing with double-sided tape just to use it up. But oh, glue is such a time saver. Do I like that? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Oof. Press it down. Right, to finish these tags off, I'm going to put some tabs on. Now, let's bring the envelope back. <laughs> I'm going to hold my breath now while I check if they actually fit. That's our big one. Now, let's see if this butterfly ends up in that window. Are we ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I could say that that was judgement and I'm really fantastic, but that was just really a bit of potluck. To be honest, when you put the front tag in, you'll not see it, see it anyway. That one's going to go in there. That one goes in there. We'll put him back in there. So there you go. And how I would attach this to my album is, I would just basically put a tag on the top. That's one way. And it will just look like a tag. And then you think, oh, what's all these other little bits? You could glue it down to your page and have another opening at either side or the top. You could put a little hinge on the back and make it into a total, complete flip out. So that would be, say this is my journal. We could put a little hinge on the back there and we'd place it on that page. So you could flip it out and you could have more things. You could even put another pocket on back. They're all things I decide on when I'm putting them in the final journal. So, two things left to do. Some tabs on our uh, tags and a little bit of something here. And what, I've <laughs> yeah, what I've decided to put on, I've probably lost now. And it's not something <laughs> there's a lot of. We have, I've got a little butterfly that I've cut from an Edith Holden eyewigger. Here's the butterfly. I thought with all these flowers, we've got to have a butterfly, haven't we? And I think with the butterfly, I want just a little bit of collage. So I'm going to get my old favourites out of my collage box. And they are a little bit of music paper. That's too small, Julie. Get a different one. Here's my little collage tub. This is my small collage tub and it's getting a bit full. So, yeah, some of these are going to be for chop if they don't get used. That's a better size piece. What else we got? Oh, I've got some dark. No, that's too dark for that. Do I want a bit of doily today? I don't think I do. Do I want straw paper? I think that might be a bit dark for this light summery one that we're doing. Ooh, I've got some of that self-adhesive craft paper. I think a piece of that, bit of music paper, our butterfly on and some a label and that's going to be done and dusted just leave that there it's not casting a shadow is it no so yeah i'll move my little tags out of the way for now there you go tags i'm really pleased with how those tags came out like i said i am a i'm an overthinker and doing these on video it's actually really helping me it's helping me to speed up yeah i'm not lightning quick but I'm really not faffing as much as I used to. Now I'm just tearing some of these bits of paper down. They're very uniform, these. I'm still not sure I'm going to like it. It needs something else. It needs a bit of, I'm thinking, tea dyed paper. This is one of my strips I've saved. Yeah, I'm going to just grab a bit of that. Rip the edges off. I don't like the straight edges. I don't know why. It's just one of them things. So we're going to have a bit of brown paper there. 
bit of music paper there and a bit of that there yeah I like that and I think the butterfly might go there or there there because we don't want that music paper to be in your face do we and then I'm just going to grab one of my little pots with some tickets and tags wherever it's gone yeah I buy these from usual suspects really Tracy Fox, Artie Mays, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. I bought some from Mad Paper Crush, Kelly's Crafts by Kelly. They're just the ones, I think they're where oh, I get all my tags and tickets off. And I'm going to pop one on here. Let's just get a little selection out. Do I want red? No. Green? No. I always end up using brown. <laughs> there you go, I love the brown ones. It's going to be that one. There you go. I might, I'll decide at a later date if I want to put any of those on tags. That's something I can spend three hours pondering when I'm not being filming. Right, so I get my ink back out. Find my ink pad. Where's ink pad? I've buried it under something on this right hand side. You know, I've thrown things out of the way. Where's it gone? I, come on, I'm really not going to have to pause the video to find my ink, am I? Do you know what? I'm just going to hope there's enough ink on there to do it with. It's going to be somewhere really obvious. Oh yeah, there's a bit. Oh, I've still got this old dauber on. <laughs> you watch people and they're always saying, oh, I'm ready to change this dauber. <laughs> the reason I don't want to change it is when you put a new one on, you can get some really harsh edges that don't look very nice. They take a little bit of bedding in and... <laughs> They have to be absolutely falling apart. It's not about, oh, I don't want to pay for a new door, but oh, I can't be bothered to change it. It's that whole thing of the harsh edges you get. They're not very nice. Right, how are we doing? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just squeezing enough ink out here. It's, it's, I don't know what on earth I've done with that ink pad. I'm at a desk. Everything is within arm's length. Nothing's fallen on the floor. Just can't see it. Could be anywhere. Did you notice one of the kids coming and pinch it while I weren't looking? No. We didn't want to over ink it anyway, did we? So no, we haven't. And it looks like Mr. Butterfly is getting no ink. You actually cut from a copy of the garden notes that I've got. But you do find that butterfly in the main book right i think we're going to put this down first this sticky one this is the amazing stuff i showed you that i put on the back when there's a busy pattern on any kind of journaling card or embellishment so that you've got an area to write trickiest bit sometimes is getting the corner to peel it off once you've got it it's okay they're using them blooming vellum stickers. I've got some of them and I, I've seen people after Port's video to get backs off them. They are a nightmare, but they look so pretty. They're a bit like kids, they're a nightmare, but they're worth it. Pop that there. That's all stuck now. No ink, no glue required on that one. We decided to have a bit of music. I don't know which way up this goes. Oh, is that, <laughs> I was going to say if there's any letters or numbers, read them. Is that a six or a nine? I've no idea. I'm not even going to tell that old joke with Boating Lake. If you don't know it, look it up on internet. And I'm, for quickness and ease, I'm going to do it because it's only a little bit of collage and I'm going to do it with my art glitter. When I'm in collage mode and I'm doing lots of them, they all get done with glue stick or my yes paste that I love. That's that piece. Yeah. So actually losing my ink pad has done me a favour, hasn't it? It's ensured that I don't over ink anything. Lord knows where it is. Where it is. Pop that there. There's going to be a little bit of straightness going off with lines and squares. I think he's going there and the labels going here. I don't know. Mm, I, I can't decide. 
Does it even matter? Um, change my mind, I'm doing it that way now. Quick, stick it on before you start overthinking it. Deciding to use a different label. Binning your butterfly in favour of another one. Or moving it again. Because that's what I do when... I'm on my own and nobody's watching me. Well, nobody might be watching me now, but... <laughs> kids will be watching me, they've got to. They're under orders to watch Mummy's videos. Come on, kids, get my videos watched. Get some likes done. Right. I'm contaminating the YouTube histories by making them watch me. Right, that's lovely. Now, last thing to do is, I'll just move my collage box over because it wobbles my camera and everything, trying to put it back in. Last thing to do is put some tabs on. Now, I've got these. Bring them in. I saw Tanya at uh, Tatty Treasure, I'm always going on about, because she's so amazing. Use these. And they're from some die. I'd seen the die cuts and not bought them. And I thought, you know what, I'm having them. Tanya doesn't do die cutting. She buys all her die cuts from a lovely lady on um, eBay called Violet. So I will link Violet's uh, eBay down below. So I'm going to use either that one, that one, or these others that I cut myself. They look vaguely familiar, very much like a hmm, well-known tab that I don't have the punch for. So I made these on my Cricut machine and cut them out. So let's decide which we're going to use. So let's put that in. I don't want the really big ones because they stick out way far, aren't they? I think I'm favouring these small tabs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've decided. Move all them out of the way. I hope I've got three small tabs. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to ink these up in a different colour ink. I think I'm going to use walnut stain. Yeah? Anybody guess why? Yeah, because I can't find my vintage photo. Right. Rewind. Put that back. Knock 26 blue bottles over. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide ink. It does show up better on craft. There you go. And the Distress Oxide isn't quite as dark as the uh, ordinary Distress ink. So you get like an in-between colour. You've got, if I'm deciding how dark I want something, it's Vintage Photo Distress ink. Sorry, the lightest will be Distress <laughs> start again distress oxide vintage photo then it goes vintage photo then it goes distress oxide walnut stain and then it will go vintage no it won't it'll go ordinary walnut stain i'm going to shut up now because i'm talking absolute rubbish and all we've got left to do is put these tabs on so i'm just going to ink them shut up and turn the video off that's two inked I think I'm going to put a big one on the bigger tag. Yep, I think that'll look good. And you can stick these on with whatever you like. I wonder if anyone's ever tried chewing gum. I think it'd stick temporarily, but it wouldn't last right long, would it? And please don't ever put it in some. I'm just getting silly now. So I'm talking rubbish and I'm being absolutely silly. So it really is time to finish and get gone. Right, that's an inside one. I want my tab to be around where my little hole is. Right, don't have to line up perfectly, but I want it to be around there. So, pop me a little bit of glue on. I've been thinking about selling these tabs in my Etsy shop, but I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh -uh, I'm going to put that further in. I'm going to line that part of the tab up with the edge of the mat. If anybody wants them, just let me know. Oh, 
Oh, you silly, I put, you silly woman. I put that tab on the wrong one. That was the inside one. I've mucked it up now. So um, I'm going to peel it off. Am I? No. That's ruined. Oh, silly woman. See, when you start talking rubbish and being silly, it all just goes wrong, doesn't it? So I'm going to save that for another one of these. I'm going to pretend I wanted to put it on sideways. <laughs> Nothing's amiss. And everything's perfect. So yeah. So we've got a sideways tab on there. Fits in better once it's glued down. We've got the butterfly showing through and the... I think it's a clover that one and then mm, I think to keep it uniform and all the tabs to be lined up I'm going to put the tab on the side for this one yes yeah oh I like it like that the two tabs on the side what a brilliant idea that was are you buying it I'm not sure I am but it's done now isn't it ink that last tab up Bit of glue on. I can hear kids in the background, I don't know what they want, but they're going to have to wait, aren't they? And that goes on there. Yes, put it on the right one this time. And that goes in there. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Even though that tab's... Do you know, that tab's on the side. Let's pretend we're meant to do it like that. Would it have looked any better on top? I ain't have done. Got it on the side now, haven't we? End of. I do think they will look better with a label on. I'm just going to get one, and I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to place it just to see. Yeah, yeah, that needs a label. I don't know which label I'm going to use. Let's grab a random one that's already cut round. Don't think it needs to be red. I think it needs to be light green or it needs to be a brown i've not got a lot of these tags that are completely cut round now oh a square one i like it yes there we go that's gonna have a square green tag on yeah sorted right i'm gonna finish it there then i've probably waffled on for three hours i hope you've learned something Okay, I would say if you've learnt, haven't learnt what to do, you'll perhaps have learnt what not to do. So if you like that, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you to everyone who already has. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.